Good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I am hanging out on the porch today, one of my favorite spots to be when the weather's so beautiful like this. I mean, just look at that blue, blue sky. It's warm and sunny. I am just loving this. So I hit up the farm store and got some pretties to go into the planters. So let's see what we got. I hit up the farm store actually last weekend. Um, I thought I was going to do this sooner, but the week got away from me. Anyway, um, I got some beautiful stuff. Let's see. This is, look at that. Look at that. This has a really long name. Argoranthemum, Argor, Argor, Argoranthemum. Um, I don't know. I looked at them and I went, whoa, little pink daisies. Let's put that in. <laughs> and I got, speaking of daisies, I got some Gerbera daisies. She's looking a little sad because she's, she's looking a little sad. She's been waiting too long in this pot. So I want to get her in. And I got another, I got a matching set of all of these plants. Uh, to go in the other window box back behind me. Got these really lovely pansies. I like the way they played against each other with the, the orange and purple. And then these just bright orange. Probably gonna end up with extra pansies. Um, I feel like I do this every year though. And then I got something else to just sort of spill down the sides. This is a variegated Vinca vine which is hilarious because I have Vinca growing wild in the backyard. It's, um, it's a periwinkle and it is not variegated and it puts off these little bluish purplish flowers. They're really pretty. So we're just sort of letting that creep. Um, so, Hey, yay Vinca. <laughs> um, so I want to get these into their happy little boxes and set them up. Okay, let me show you what I'm looking at because I did not clean this out from last year. And there might be a bird feeder right overhead. So this is what we're looking at. Lots of stuff in here, including peanuts, <laughs> peanut shells, because we've been feeding a couple of the local squirrels. I know, I know, we're those people and a bunch of grass in here. I'm assuming some of the bird seeds sprouted. So I'm gonna definitely need to weed this as the season progresses. Because I am 100% certain that as I care for this and I water it, once stuff is planted, that it's gonna wake up a bunch of this seed. So I'll just have to be vigilant with that. I'm not gonna lie, I completely got distracted just now because there was a squirrel and it was super cute. Right, 
let's put some plants into these boxes. So I'm gonna start on the ends over here. leave the tags back here so that I know what the heck they are <laughs> as they grow in. Oh, I think this thing's going to be really root bound. Here we go. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. A little bit, a little bit root bound. Not too bad though. I don't think this is anything it won't recover from. And if I remember correctly vinca is if i remember correctly vinca is pretty hard to kill okay. there. Let's stick our daisy in here oh she is root bound she is root bound Get you in here. Some nice dirt. Maybe this will help her out a little bit. Perk her up. Oh, my poor flower. My poor flower. Okay, so I've got room for room enough probably for three and I bought eight all right let's see okay those ones came right out I thought we could fit four in that oh my gosh so those yellow those yellow pansies or orange I guess they're orange those orange pansies came in fours. These purple ones came in sixes. I'm gonna have so many pansies left over. I'll have to find something pretty to put them in. Maybe offset them a little bit. Daisy, I hope she recovers. Liv brought me this awesome bucket. He found it while he was hiking out in the woods. So perhaps I'll repurpose that as a planter for the pansies. That would look really kind of cool. We're on the other side of the porch now. Over on this one, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing I did over there, um, but in reverse. So I don't know if you've been following along with this whole um, respect your nonsense saga. I was talking about it in another video in terms of all these bits and pieces of black plastic, which now I have another <laughs> that need to go in for a wash. But I wanted to say when I was talking about it the other day, I think, I think maybe I was a little reductive and made it sound like this mantra of respect your nonsense is only about the ephemera you know oh, if you want to if you want to clean house you got to clean it because it's your house and you live there <laughs> not about that it's it's bigger um 
I mean, that's part of it, sure. But there's the bigger part of it is about, it's a, it, the bigger part of it is about respecting your plans, respecting your projects, um, respect yourself, you know, um, take yourself seriously. You're worth it. You're absolutely worth it. You get to be your authentic self and who better to do that than you, right? Give yourself permission to be you and it just gets easier to be you. I mean, maybe I'm projecting. It made things easier for me. <laughs> in a lot of ways, it's been freeing. In a lot of ways, it's just put really solid ground under me, which is great space to create. I wanna take advantage of that. So I'm trying to keep that foremost on my mind all the time and uh, go forth. <laughs> I will see you soon. Thank you for hanging out with me on the porch today and celebrating this beautiful blue sky day. Catch you up soon. Take care.